Hi guys, in another video by MTech Pro, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is currently the king on the Android Hill. With a gorgeous screen, powerful performance and a long-range zoom camera, it seems to have it all at a price that is actually not too crazy. So can the new iPhone 13 Pro Max change the mind of Android loyalists, and convince them to switch sides? This is shaping up to be one of the most epic battles of flagship smartphones. When it does arrive this fall, the iPhone 13 has its work cut out for it, should Apple want to earn bragging rights over Samsung. We have the latest iPhone rumors, but one with a bigger battery that might just change the game, as well as rumors about new features, like an in-screen touch ID, that will help with unlocking the phone while wearing a mask and the usual serving of camera improvements. Samsung has been the leader in display quality in the past few years, and the iPhone actually uses a Samsung-made OLED display panel. So with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, Apple is playing a bit of a catch-up. It is bringing one of the most exciting new features that debuted on a Galaxy in 2020, and that was the 120Hz fast refresh rate. The screen size and resolution are expected to remain the same as last year. You will get a 6.7-inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1284x2778 pixels, compared to the same size screen, but at a slightly higher 1440p resolution on the Galaxy. On the design side, don't expect any major changes to the iPhone which will look mostly like its predecessor with flat sides, but possibly two new colors, a true black model, and then a darker bronze shade which may replace the gold one. And with a bigger battery inside, the 13 Pro Max might get even heavier and chunkier. For the camera, the iPhone 13 Pro Max might be a big upgrade when it comes with the same triple camera as on the previous model, and that compares to a more versatile 4 camera setup on the Galaxy. Both phones have main and ultra-wide cameras, but while the iPhone only has a single zoom lens at 2.5x zoom, the Galaxy comes with two zoom lenses, one at 3x zoom and another one at 10x zoom, giving it far more range when zooming. Of course, while Apple is not changing the camera hardware in any major way, don't expect quite the same image quality as before. Apple is planning improvements in three key areas. Six-element lens construction for the ultra-wide camera, faster f1.8 aperture for the ultra-wide camera for better low-light shots, overall software improvements. And other new features on the iPhone 13 Pro Max include a possible astrophotography mode, but rumors about that are sketchy. For the performance we have Apple A15 vs Snapdragon 888, the new Apple A15 Bionic chip in the iPhone 13 Pro Max is expected to once again be the fastest in the industry. The Galaxy comes equipped with the top-of-the-line Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chip for the US model, while International S21 Ultra models come with a very slightly slower Samsung Mate Exynos 2100 processor. While the iPhone has the advantage in processing speeds, the Galaxy comes with 12GB of RAM, compared to just 6GB RAM on the iPhone, which helps keep more apps open in the background, and is good for multitasking. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is also the first iPhone rumored to come with a 1TB storage option, which will likely cost over $1,500. So what about the battery? While all iPhone 13 models are expected to receive some form of a battery boost, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is said to get not only a small improvement, it's expected to get a bigger battery. The exact battery capacity was revealed earlier. We'll get a 4,352 mAh battery on iPhone 13 Pro Max, that is massive upgrade. Will the S21 Ultra have 5,000 mAh battery? And thus we know both Apple and Samsung will charge you an additional $20 bucks for a fast charger. And to summarize this comparison here is a detailed specs comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro Max and Galaxy S21 Ultra. Thank you everybody for watching, see you in another video.